Hello folks, uh, welcome back to Tinsley Park Shooting Club. Uh, this is a follow on video from the uh, single shot tray that I bought for the uh, Falcon Prairie Light Hunter. What I'll be doing today, I'm going to fire the magazine and the single shot tray. See if the accuracy is any different. Uh, I'll be shooting at 25 yards. Uh, but just just to see if there's any difference between uh, loading a single shot to a magazine because in some cases firing a single shot can be more accurate whether it is I don't know but we'll find out today so uh, the pellets I've got all I've got Bisley Magnums I've got the uh, Day State uh, Range Master Sovereigns they're 10.3 grains uh, I think the Bisley Magnums are I don't know if it, 20, 20, oh no, that's the uh, 2 2. I think these are 10.4 or something like that. And I've also got the Barracuda Hunter, uh, they weigh 10.49 grains, so they're quite heavy actually. So there we go, we're going to try those three pellets with the rifle. I've not used the Hunters before, so. Uh, can't see them being uh, usable for more than 25 yards we'll see but because it's got uh, a hollow point that's going to slow it down and affect the uh, natural uh, trajectory and everything the further out you get so uh, what we'll do now we'll get on with the test and we'll see what it comes up with Okay, I've got the uh, target set up at 25 yards. Uh, the first eight shots will be done with the uh, magazine, and then the next eight will be done by the single shot tray. Safe to catch you off. Okay. Now for the single shot tray. I still got sausage fingers, so still odd getting them in there, but because it's got a slot in the actual tray, it makes it easier.
as you can see, it's busy magnums at 25 yards. I've got about probably about a centimetre group there, or less. Uh, it appears there's not much difference between magazine or single shot on this. Just knock the ball out, that's all. And the last one. So that is the uh, single shot tray. Uh, what I'll do now, I will try out the other two pellets. Could mean because it's a different pellets, the point of impact will be different, but uh, the groupings ought to be the same. Uh, so what I'll do next, I'll try the uh, Barracuda Hunters because I've not fired those through this barrel before. We'll see how they perform at 25 yards, see if they're as accurate as a normal pellet. So I'll get up range, I'll change the, uh, the target card and we'll start again. Okay, I found the best way to load this, the easiest way, is to load it like this. Slide your magazine in, all the way. And push it out slightly then, so it's just proud of the stop, but still on the uh, slide. Put your pellet in and slide it back in gently and then that lines the pellet up direct and that stops you fiddling about if you've got sausage fingers like me so uh, just fire that one off so there you go just pull back on the uh, bolt shove it out put your pellet in there and then push it back and that is the easiest way to load a pellet and a, a quite an easy way to do it as well okay I've, uh, Put a new target up over the mags. I think that's it. Looking at that, don't look quite as tight, but it's not too bad. Uh, so we'll see what it's doing single shot wise. So these are hollow points, so uh, the fact that it has got a hollow hole in it as it's going down range will probably make a difference. As I say, used to this. Okay. Right, it's in. We'll get there.
thing with these it's the balance because it's a hollow point a bit more tricky A couple of shots went low on that, but uh, nice enough uh, going in the same area. I mean, the old group's probably half an inch. If it hadn't been for the two that's dropped low, it would have been cooler, probably. Okay, last one. Okay, okay so uh, that's 16 shots with the uh, HN Barracuda Hunters hollow points. The final pellet up will be tried and tested. They state sovereign, well, range master sovereign at ten point. Okay, then uh, put the target up. I've got a SpongeBob Square Pants on again. So I've got to let him in the nose. Imagine being fed first. Wind is blowing. Not a bad group. So now on to the single shots. And these are very good pellet usually anyway, so Oh no, I think it's a top pattern looking at. I thought it was a bit of a miss shot. Okay, it's grouping slightly right of where the point of aim is. I think that's down to the wind. And I can't control that bit.
rolls back just a bit too far. It goes uh, in near the probe. But, uh, I just realised if you slide the, uh, the magazine trout out slightly, you can pull it on direct now. So that's probably the best way to do it. So that's it then. Three different pellets. Uh, eight through the magazine, eight single shot, accuracy wise, no difference I don't think, which I want to expect it to be, but in some cases it can be. Uh, but that's it then. Stuart Warby's 3D printed uh, single shot tray for the Falcon Prairie. So if you've got a Falcon Prairie, multi shot, and you're having problems with the magazine, or you just want to uh, do single shot if you're doing uh, field target or something, winter field target, it's a good uh, thing to get hold of. So uh, thanks for watching.